I've had numerous of nights and days and thinking about living in a bubble. I think everyone has, including you guys. <laughs> well, I'm <being> very <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, I don't think it's not one person that has not had a mind that says, oh my God, get the hell out of here. None plus any left? Oh, 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 thank you. You talked to Kelly? I did. I said, I was like, are you going to come to the bubble? But she's not. Oh, no, I was telling her she is not. She's on vacation. We got to make sure. Welcome to Orlando. The local time is 10.32. Oh, shit. I have to bring it up. <laughs> Okay, so while I'm waiting for sounds, I'm trying to draft my fantasy team. This is multitasking in the bubble. <laughs> so I have been in the bubble since July 12th. There have been good moments, bad moments, lonely moments, happy moments. It's just been a big roller coaster of emotions, but we are now here and it is the start of round two of the NBA playoffs. Last night, the Miami Heat get a huge win over Giannis and the Milwaukee Bucks, so it's only right we go check out their practice. You. Well, obviously me, but... You. Ooh, drop the skincare routine. <laughs> hey, don't gas me. He better make me. You healthy, so we don't got to worry about no heart attacks. <laughs> Coach, X, run X. <laughs> huh? Good shit, bro. Andy, man, why are you hiding, Andy? Oh, yeah, Andy, what up? What up, man? <laughs> Hello. Thanks for giving us all a heart attack. You know, whenever you have that, you can't see it on just one guy. We got so many guys that are constantly working on the game. They get to pick and choose their spots. You know, Duncan was huge for us. Bam was huge for us. No. Tyler, Gorn. <laughs> um, Touches his ball. <laughs> He's getting a piece of this. No, no, He's no. Getting a no. Piece. The hoop. The big hoop. The hoop. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he, did he make it? No. He made it. <laughs> did he make it? What? No. Oh, you're lying. It didn't count, did it? Successful field goal. No, they got it. They got to review that. I don't no, think that. Counts. That was. I don't think that counts. No. Watch, watch. Oh, oh. it did. It did. Hey, you yo. No. Oh, I did so happy. Brought the kids, Fred. Just an eye. Let's put that. Hello. I love your pink dress. It's so cute. Yeah, I was going to say, what's your name? No, you're new. What's your name? What's your name? You want to be in the interview tonight? <laughs> With Doritos on your face? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, she's precious. <laughs> Shelby got you, got Doritos all on your face. Mm -hmm. Your mama gonna kill me, you know that, right? <laughs> well, 
I'm just gonna say that at this point, the playoff Raptors are pretty synonymous with clutch shots. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> luckily. Yeah, luckily, absolutely. I mean, Kawhi's four bounce game winner, OG's big shot in game three. I mean, what are the similarities that you saw between those two shots? Um, crazy shots that nobody thought were going in. Um, last second buzzer beaters in the playoffs are you know, kind of rare. I know it doesn't seem that way now being in a bubble, but um, historically, it seems rare and you don't see many of them. So uh, I'm just glad to be a part of both. And if you want to keep advancing this time of year, you got to have some of those. Yeah. I mean, you talk about being a part of both. It's kind of crazy because you were actually the primary option yeah. on OG's yeah. game winner. I mean, how was it supposed to play out? Yeah, well, in a perfect world, I would have ran right to the ball, caught it, and, and shot it. But, you know, I was able to draw a little attention and I don't think they fell asleep a little bit and OG stepped up and knocked it down. So that was big for us, for sure. Okay, the matchup we wanted to see Lakers taking on the Rockets, headed to that game right now. Three point basket, Harden. This Lakers Rockets game one getting a little chippy. I think we might see a, a brawl or two, not a brawl, but it's gonna be very aggressive this series, I can tell. Leaving the Raptors Celtics game, I checked the score for Clippers Nuggets, and the Nuggets are up 45 24 into the first. Gotta go. Okay, um, definitely been a rough, like 24 hours, rough time um, while I'm here in the bubble. My great uncle passed away. For those of you that don't know, Lou Brock um, is my great uncle. He was a Hall of Famer with the St. Louis Cardinals, one of the best to ever play the game. But um, for me, I just lost somebody that I love dearly and one of the best people that you will ever meet in your life. He is kind and genuine and funny and caring and made every single person that he came across feel like the most important person in the world. And while I know some people believe that his gift was baseball, I think that was his actual gift, making all people feel seen and heard and amazing. He really did have a knack for that. But yeah, so that is what's going on with me here in the bubble. Definitely been rough, 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 uh, time but one thing that really did lift my spirits was seeing jason tatum who is from st louis he was wearing his cardinal jordan 34s and he wrote rip blue brock um obviously everybody knows he played for the st louis cardinals um one of the best players ever in mlb one of the best players to play for the cardinals um 22 i never got to see him play but i know what he means to that organization and to the city of st louis um and I had the the, the Cardinal the Jordan 34 that I designed. I had those on the day. And unfortunately, he passed away yesterday. So I um, just wanted to shed, shed some light on that um, for all the people back home. That warmed my heart because I know my uncle would have loved him. I loved them. And yeah, so that was a little, that was a little light um, in a dark, dark couple days. Yeah, 
Okay, not only are the Nuggets winning over the Clippers, Michael Porter Jr. had one of the best dunks. Huge poster. At a lot of these games, obviously people have family here, but it seems like you all have a big family section. I can hear them a little more than the others. How does it affect the way you guys play? Can you hear them the same as we can? It's just good to have a, a support system here um, for a lot of guys. Um, we came into this bubble with the idea that we were gonna be here for the long haul. We were prepared for the long haul. I think our families um, were prepared for that, that process as well. So um, we followed through with them coming here. Um, everybody has that support system, but it's gonna be important coming down the stretch, you know, just to have some people, uh, the, the lack of fans in the building for us to have a group of people that's here for us, that's great. But does um, the energy feel different now as opposed to before the families? No, nah, you still can't hear them for real. Okay. It's, good, it's good to have them here though. All right, thank you. Okay, so I might just be hype, but that was one of the best playoff games ever. Double OT, what a showing from the Raptors and the Celtics. Even had a bit of a like a weird scuffle scrum in the end when they were headed to the locker room. I recorded that. I also asked Jalen Brown what that even was. So Jalen, as you guys were heading back to the locker room, it seemed like the teams were exchanging words. You know, what happened there? What was that about? Uh. You know, a lot of emotions, um, things like that swirling, etc. Um, I ain't gonna really speak on it too much. Um, but, you know, it's a lot of emotions. It's an intense series. So, you know, things like that tend to happen. Packing up the spot. Saying goodbye to the bubble. Adios. Uh, I'm actually kind of sad. Game for Lakers Rockets. It's my final game of the bubble. So sad. But um, right now it's 26-22 Lakers. A lot of game left. Let's see what happens. Final night um, in the bubble. So I wrote an Instagram caption, but I feel like I need to share it first with you all, the viewers of the blog. Um, all right, so this is what it says. In the morning, I leave the bubble, heading to St. Louis to be with my family as you remember the amazing life of my Uncle Lou. These two months have been the most memorable and important moments of my career. Hello world, I'm here. There are few times in life that you get to be a part of a first and an only. <laughs> this layered experience came in the midst of a country dealing with systemic racism, police brutality, and a devastating pandemic. Players sat out, players used their voices, players battled with an array of deep emotions while still competing for a championship. Every day I asked myself how to best do my job to convey this story being deliberate with questions, taking videos of sounds and moments that mattered, but also capturing the joy and levity that presented itself. Three points, One day, people will make movies and write books about this time. This was history. I feel blessed and thankful that I was able to record history. Ugh. And I'm so thankful to all of you that followed along. But there are so many more games to be played and more changes to be made. Peace and love.